A short video on the installation and use of iTools. First go to where you've downloaded the file, in this case downloads, and the iTools setup exe. You can now choose what language you would like to install it in. I will stick to English. You can now choose where to install it. The default C program files x86 in my case because I've got a 64 bit operating system on it. But you can browse to wherever you would like it installed. Next, you can also choose where in the start menu to have put it by default I tools. You can choose whether or not you want a desktop icon. I will say no or leave it at no in this case. A summary of where it's going to put things. And you can now finish and it will you can choose to have it start on completion or not. So I will leave that tick so it will start up. And there you are. Now iTools will automatically sit itself over the top of iTunes. It will automatically scale iTunes to 95% of your screen size if you didn't have it maximised or minimised. Now at this stage there are three main options. Clean up, delete duplicates and populate album artist. Clean up is used mainly for fixing up um, punctuation, standardising standard some of the spelling uh, removing orphan files, so those files that are no longer on your computer or at least in the place where iTunes thinks they are. You can choose which ones of these options to not run or run by default they're all on. You've also got the delete duplicates file folder, which uh, removes only exact duplicates, that is files of the same track name, artist, album and approximate length. You have a choice of moving them either into the duplicates folder, which is a subfolder of music usually uh, in iTools duplicates or you can just simply have it remove them outright. I'll leave that up there. If two files are identical apart from the bitrate it will keep the one closest to the bitrate selected in the preferred bitrate column. The populate album artist field copies the contents of the artist into the album artist field. The purpose of this is if you have compilations or featured artists, uh, you will, in the case of a compilation, you would have various artists in the album artist field to keep them together, or the main artist in the case of um, featured artists. That way the album stays together despite the fact that you've got various artists. I'll do a quick um, run of the startup. Now, when you start it up, um, it, by the way, it will scan at around about 10,000 per minute uh, because it is all on board, nothing online, hence far higher speed than any programs it uses off the net. Now, in this case, it found two changes to the track name and seven to the genre. I will now run the delete duplicates one. And here we go. So far, it's found 11, 12 duplicates. And let that go to completion. And there we are. And the populate album artist, if I run that. And we've made seven changes. Okay, now all of those changes and duplicates, I can uh, close iTools and it then will. Uh, ask if I also want to close iTunes, which I'll say yes in this case. Now if you go to your My Music folder, or Music folder, you'll find a folder called iTools, if there have been any changes made, and the, any duplicates found are now in there. In this case, Jeffrey Garland and up and go. I had that album twice. Um, you can safely delete that if you're happy with the fact that that was a duplicate. And the history, in this case there was changes to the genre, in this case it's called Alt Rock, whereas the rock was in all capitals, and just turned it into plain rock, for example. And in the case of track name, um, why worry, uh, by the way the left hand side is how it was before, the right hand side is how it is now. Now obviously it had a hyphen and a bunch of spaces at the start of that why worry, I just removed them. And in the case of So Far Away, it was all caps originally, and now it is capitalised. And that, that is the first letter of every word is capitalised. It keeps an internal dictionary 
of words that should be either capitalised or lowercase or not spelt standard, um, so that, that, that they won't get overwritten. Um, that's a summary of using iTools.